What's good, YouTube? It's your boy R. Welcome back to AM. Let me put you Welcome back to AM on the Today we're gonna be doing a reaction to the Starlink speeds and pricing leak. You guys know me personally. I haven't. I don't think I ever did anything well on the channel dealing with Starlink. No. But personally, I did sign up for the beta program. Still waiting for it to reach my area, which is in the Turks and Caicos. All right. We're gonna see what's up, what they up to on here for sure because I want to be a part of the beta program. Elon, if you're watching this, Turks and Caicos, me, you got me for sure. So that's, that's just do this reaction video. Let's get it. I'm so excited. Starlink is moving forward with some more public beta tests. Woo! The better than nothing beta, so you uh -huh. understand that they're trying to initially lower expectations a little bit, but mm -hmm. I think this is a far more interesting development in the internet world than 5G and facts we're talking about it today. Let's begin. Big facts, bro. So through a leaked email that went out to a beta tester, someone who signed up for updates, which does include myself, but I don't think it's available in my area yet, they're gonna start out with the northern section of the United States and a lot of Canada and phase it out slowly. See, as service gets down even over here is yet. you aren't keeping up to date with the SpaceX launches, they just I am. reached a milestone of around 800 Starlink satellites. And yes, for those who are concerned about space junk, SpaceX is working directly with astronomers in trying to paint the Starlink satellites in dark darker colors so that it's harder to notice it. And again, the only real time it'll be extremely obvious to see these satellites is directly after takeoff because that's when they're at lower altitude and especially at dawn in dusk because that's when it's dark for most of us, but way up high they can bounce light off the sun. But in the middle of the night, it should be very, very hard to see these moving forward. And if you're still concerned about space junk, keep in mind they have their own onboard thrusters on these satellites. And even if they lose connection with them, they will naturally burn up in the atmosphere that won't make it to the surface and SpaceX is the company pioneering the reusable rocket firing off and landing all over again which ah. saves massively on space junk compared to what most other space agencies are doing right now so come on we got to give them credit for credit to do anyway Satellites currently in operation just for Starlink, and the early test results seem somewhat promising. SpaceX has been giving away Starlink to a few agencies that were in desperate need of more reliable internet, and compared to other satellite internet services out there, this is no debate. This is no this question. Is, my internet is trash. is seeing speeds anywhere between 50 megabits a second or 150 megabits per second download, and when it comes to upload, it's somewhere between 20 megabits and 40. Wow! The speeds we're seeing right now, as well as somewhere between 20 and 40 millisecond latency, which is miles better than other satellite internets, which are usually in the triple digits. And this is just the beginning because SpaceX has been given permission by the government to operate thousands of satellites, of course, safely above our planet. And once there's more and more next generation satellites with newer tech and the connection is a lot more stable, we should start seeing much lower latency. Elon Musk has said that he's hoping it to be under 20 milliseconds, maybe closer to 10. And ideally, the internet speeds are also going to be getting much, much better. And people who are being offered to sign up for the public beta Me? are seeing it listed at $99 a month, and the initial sign-up fee is $500, but that also includes a Wi-Fi router, the user terminal, you know, the dish, and all the mounting equipment you should need to make sure your Starlink dish is pointed at the sky. And SpaceX even launched their first app on the iOS and Android store. Which oh, is man. Kind of a where and how exactly you should position your dish, and it seems to be somewhat simple, something that all of us could do ourselves at home. You definitely won't have to pay for labor costs of having an expert come out and install the dish and point it in the exact right way because Starlink satellites are not geosynced with the Earth's rotation. They're all kind of moving crazy around us. So as long as it's pointed at the sky and there's not a lot of obstructions, you should be good to go. And if a lot of you are thinking right now, man, $100 a month and $500 for a sign-up fee and you're only getting 100 megabits per second download and 40 megabits per second upload, this doesn't sound very good. If that's your thought process here, you Starlink is not meant for you. Thank you! Starlink is not meant for you guys. Starlink is meant for people like us, my country, who has terrible internet, and I don't care if the companies see it. Because it's true. We have one of the highest plans, prices. We have data, internet, home internet plan, by the way, broadband internet plan, at $200. That's ridiculous, bro. And listen! Some of these internet plans ain't even hitting 100 meg MB uh, MBPS. I swear to God, y'all don't believe me? All right, y'all think I'm joking. 
And the aura you cap it. Alright, I can show you what's the cap. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, hold on. Oh, damn it. You know what? I, I, I come back to it. Alright, hold on. Hold on. I, I can show you the results right now. Hold on. Uh, what time is it? It's. Okay, check this out. Make sure my IP address ain't showing. Okay, okay, okay. So, Alright, y'all can see this? This is my home internet. I hope you can see it. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at the top. Oh, wait, no. It's still moving. My fat fingers. Okay, look at it. Ah, oh, shit, man. Stop focus! Okay, you see the top? Okay, man, I can read it to you. At the top, it says the date and the time. Look at the top. You can see the date and the time and all that good stuff. Let me see. All right, I'm going to put my face behind it. The date and the time. All right, you see all that? You see how much? Y'all see my download speeds? Y'all see my upload speeds? I'm not even hitting. He talking about 100. Uh, um, download 100 Mbps. And upload 40 Mbps. I'd kill for 10. I'd kill for 10. And ask me how much I'm paying for this. Ask me. This is a matter of it. I have the entry plan. Entry plan. I have the cheapest plan. Ask me how much I'm paying for it every month. I ain't gonna tell you no lies. I am paying. You know what? Let me not make up no numbers. I can tell you the number, the exact number, off the top of my head. Hold on. I come in right now. Let me look at one of my previous bills. Um, my previous bill is hold up, ninety four dollars and seventy. No, that's the last one. Damn, flow bill. Yes, and my provider's flow. Uh, $94.08 Yes, I was right, $94.08 Every month And I'm not even hitting 10 So Elon You smile You know these companies Ripping us off And We, 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 we well, this is, I have the cheapest internet I own On the island Out of all companies I have the cheapest and Then they'll tell you some bull Oh, you need to upgrade In order to get more speed Bro, I'm not even, and by the way, this is actually pretty good. I normally don't even get four. I, in the nighttime, when people are actually in my home, I'm, nobody's in the neighborhood now, I'm, I might be knocking on two or on one. Terrible internet, bro, and they're just ripping us off. They're just raping us, bro. This is what it's for. Starlink Saturday is going to come, and listen, the other companies who are here, you better tighten up. Starlink is far more important than anything 5G has to offer because that's about offering insane amounts of data speeds to people who don't really need it. You know, the one square block. Hey, I hit a gigabit for a second and then you turn around and <laughs> oh, shoot, now it's all gone. It's like, yeah, no one's really going to utilize that very much unless you're just trying to get likes on a tweet by doing a speed test. Same time, though, as we're focusing so heavily on 5G, do you realize that there's still over 3 billion people on the planet that do not have access to internet at all? Thank you. There's tons of people on the planet that cannot access good internet. Thank you! In third world countries. There's lots of places across the United States. Bro, I'm not even in a third world country, bro. It's like nobody know better, so nobody don't care really at this point in time. Like, for those who know, be like, but y'all got terrible internet for the price y'all paying for. But shoot, if you don't know no better, be like, hmm, I get internet. It's slow, but you know, okay. Like, oh, let me pay for more. Oh, maybe because you get too much devices connected. My guy, I have three devices connected to my internet router. I got an extender. I got a 5G capable extender. Stop playing with me, yo. Can't still oh, sorry. Have, there's lots of places across the United States and Canada and lots of places in Europe where internet connection is abysmal and people that are living far away from big cities don't have the privilege of having lots of different ISPs to choose from. And that means that the only ones they do are expensive, they charge them through the roof, and they're not exactly. that good, they're incredibly slow. And exactly. Elon has said on multiple occasions that Starlink is not meant to replace all of our gigabit fiber no, optics it's not. to our houses. That's not really the purpose. Purpose here. Starlink is not aiming to give everybody gigabit in the center of LA or New York City. It's trying to bring internet to those who need it most instead exactly. of us gigabit users just flexing on each other more and more. However, where I live, I only get Comcast, and while I do get a thousand megabits download, I'm still capped at around 40 megabits upload, which I'm not really happy with because download is not needed for me, but with my job and my line of work, upload is very important, and as long as I can get even remotely better 
upload speeds with Starlink, I would sign up for it. In fact, honestly, if the speeds for upload were the same with Starlink, I'm still gonna sign up for it because I'm paying 140 bucks a month right now for my internet, and Comcast oh, sucks. The customer service is terrible, and they're not doing. Oh my gosh, bro! This dude just touched the thing right up. This dude just said customer service, bro. The customer service sucks on the island here. It does. It really does. And I'm speaking the truth. Like, my internet speed is terrible, bro. And as much as you complain, they all they can tell you, upgrade your package. Upgrade your package. Your house stupid. Nigga, I'm in an apartment complex, bro. And, oh my gosh. It's terrible. My money, however, space now. Question, how long y'all think it's taking me to upload these reaction videos? Let me show you something. In order for my reaction video to be up for 9 o'clock the following morning, I have to do this. Look, what time is it now? Two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, y'all thought it was a joke. I do. I read about this. Make a profit off of this internet service so that they can fund their mission to Mars, which I think is far more interesting, and I would love to see that. So, yeah, if I have to spend a hundred bucks a month on internet where I am, I would much. I would pay a hundred dollars. Sending it to space Listen, than sending it to Comcast. Sorry for keep on pausing. All that money. Sorry for keep on pausing. All right, but. I'm paying $94, and I'm not even getting even half of it. Of course, I'll take this shit out of my house, give them back the, the, the internet, and cut them off completely, and go with the satellite base, and pay $100, what, 90 not 90 what the hell are they talking about 90 Pay $6, $6 extra, and you kill me, and I get him, I, listen, I, I don't want to code it, because I'm not too sure. I, what he's talking about on the screen right now, that's probably, I don't even think, no, they don't even offer that here on the island. And they cap up at 206, 200 something dollars for residential service. Bullshit. On ads that they can spam Bullshit. my mailbox with. Bullshit, man. Get cable TV. Trust us, it's good this time. So another important thing to remember is, as SpaceX is calling this the better than nothing beta, is that this is just the beginning. This is what they're capable of doing with 800 satellites. Imagine what they're going to be able to do with 8,000, especially oh, as God. they ramp up production of Starship, which is in the prototype phase right now. But once it is operational, it should be capable of sending hundreds of Starlink satellites up at a time. Oh. That's when you're going to see latency get a lot better and you're going to see data that's speeds what it makes starship over the next few years but they're looking at having global coverage at some time in 2021 which means whether you're in the philippines australia or greenland you can theoretically be able to tap into starlink and get those decent internet connection that allows you to still stream movies play games and you know and i can attest as a youtuber and a twitch partner that i do a lot of live streaming and i upload multiple videos a day all with 40 megabits per second upload so cover Coverage, in my opinion, is a much more important thing than infinite data speeds, which is what 5G is chasing right now. So making sure that we bring internet to everyone and make sure that people who need it the most are getting uh, improved. Exactly, getting bro. faster speeds for reasonable prices. Starlink was never designed to compete. advertising how you can download TV shows in seconds. I don't care about that. Square block of a town. And of course, the purpose of Starlink is to raise money for SpaceX. So if you think the pricing is bad or if you think That's pretty good. going to do well as a whole. The good news is the upfront cost of Starlink has already been paid for. So SpaceX can very easily change their pricing if they want to, if they figure out, okay, we put up all these satellites and not enough people are signing up, then we'll just lower our prices. And hopefully that can make it more accessible to more people. And originally exactly. there was talks that they wanted it to be somewhere around $80 a month. So it's very possible that they could end up lowering Even prices better. in the future. And this is just kind of the public Listen, data tax that early access. I'd pay $110. Pay, so $110. Might as well take to get the speech he's talking about in the downloads, I, I pay for it. I think this is very, very much worth it, especially I would. To consider the idea that in a year from now, you could sign up for this service anywhere on the globe. There's even a chance that like planes could take advantage of it, and people on cruise ships or on boats could utilize it as well, and not having to run fiber optic cable all across the planet. Instead, just having these Starlink dishes on our roof that gives us reliable, consistent internet speeds that are low latency that you can game off of, I find that much more exciting and much more more interesting because it will make the world more connected and I'm thankful that SpaceX is working on trying to do this in the cleanest way possible and trying to make the Starlink satellites much harder to see so that they don't interfere with astronomers and I can't wait to sign up for Starlink myself. As soon as I get that email, you bet I'm going to be talking about Fact. it. Fact. I just checked my so email. Thank you all for watching. This is your absolute Pierre. Oh my gosh, time. bro.
Shouts out to him. Shouts out to Buddy Hill. Because, bro, man, they just raping us, bro. And, oh, my God. And once you, like, it's like you have an idea of, okay, I'm not even getting half the speed I should get. Half the speed I should get. Which I'm paying. By the way, on the brochure, they said something completely different. Let me let y'all know from now. The brochure would say you get uh, five gigabytes of uh, uh, five five Mbps downloads and uh, two point four uploads. So I was like, all right, cool. I could work with that for the start. Sometimes I don't even get one. No cap. You know what I'm saying y'all think y'all think I'd be joking. I swear. I swear. It's terrible. But well, enough for me complaining and whining about this internet. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you guys did the channel. If you guys want to show your boy some love, hit me up on social media Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Alright, if you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys have a beautiful day. Be happy, be blessed, and remember the world is yours. Peace.